So I just finished a match on Modern Warfare, and I was kind of shocked with my score. I actually went like 98 and 17, and this was on shipment, so it's not hard to get 98 kills and stuff, but the fact that I only got 17 deaths really got me thinking about the play style and how I actually play the game compared to my other teammates who mostly all went negative. So I'm going to tell you guys some tips that a lot of pro players, a lot of good gamers and stuff like that don't share with people, and you guys are going to do this. Follow these tips if you want to raise that KD of yours, and trust me guys, you will get a lot better at this game. What is up? My name is Nick and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. Today we're going to be talking about some tips that a lot of people don't share about within Modern Warfare. I got six tips listed on this for you guys to actually go ahead and follow and most of these I've never actually told you guys or anything like that or I, at least I've told you guys but in a different form. But the first one I'm going to give you guys I've never told you ever and we're going to talk about that tip because it is actually super important. But before we do if you guys could drop a huge fat like on this video subscribe to the channel with those notifications turned on we are now less than 2,000 subscribers away from half a million so thank you to everyone who has supported the channel and if you're new around here welcome to the channel guys if you can let me know down in the comments below your KD in Modern Warfare what is your KD right now I'm super interested in finding out so let me know down in the comments below and hopefully no matter what KD you have we could get it a lot higher even if you have a super high one but let's get into the first tip and this is one that I have to give myself I have to give myself this tip as well along with you guys so that is to use the minimap and compass the way it's meant to be used now a lot of people play this game and if you're like me I completely forget that the compass is an actual thing I, I, I know when I play battle royale the compass is super important because it tells you where enemies are but when I'm playing an arcade shooter like Call of Duty the compass is very unimportant to me I don't ever look at it I never really look at it and I started trying to pay more attention to it as of last week that's when I started and I've noticed that my gameplays have have gotten a lot better because I know this usually the, the minimap usually shows you exactly where people are shooting from but now we have only the compass to rely on so if it shows the dots a little higher they're in front of you it shows them a little lower they're behind you and then it shows you left to right how far to the left they are and how far to the right they are or how close and vice versa all that kind of stuff but guys the compass is very important so use the minimap to know where your teammates are or even use the map itself if you don't want to look at the minimap to see where your teammates are you can see their little green or blue dot through the walls and then you can figure out where they are and then once you know exactly where your teammates are you know where the enemies are going to be in those little empty spaces on the minimap where none of your teammates seem to be there's most likely it's not 100% but there's most likely a bunch of enemies in that area so you know you could go there or you know to go there if you want to get a bunch of kills and risk dying or you know to go near there and let them push to you so guys use the compass and the minimap the way it's supposed to be made the compass is super important and uh, I've never actually realized it until I started using that tip myself. Now, another one I want to tell you guys is do not push spawns. This is tip number two here. Never, ever push the spawns. And the reason for this actually is one important reason. I'm going to give you guys an example. You're playing Domination, and then you capture your flag. Whether it's A or C, it doesn't matter. You capture your, your flag, whatever side you're on, and then go straight to capture B. Get your whole team to capture B. You guys got to do that. And then once you capture those, I know even if you don't play the objective, just do it. Just capture those two flags. And then once you capture those, push up very, very little. Don't push up like crazy. Don't go to the enemy spawn, but push up very little. Have your teammates do the same thing. Hopefully they listen because a lot of teammates actually just push like crazy, but hopefully they listen. And this way, you guys have control of 60% of the map. Everywhere from B flag and behind you is all yours. And even if you push up a little bit, you, it's all yours. And then the enemies are all going to be spawning within the other 40% of the map. And they're all going to have to run to you. You guys have the map advantage. You, they're going to have to run to you. You're going to have to kill them. They're barely going to be able to kill you because you guys are going to be posted up on six spots and stuff like that. And this way, you'll always know where the enemies are. That is the most important thing. You always want to know where the enemies enemies are coming from if you guys are pushed up like crazy you're gonna flip the spawns and that is definitely something you don't want to do so make sure you do not push 
like crazy after you capture B flag. Don't go to their spawn and try to be a hero and stuff. You're just going to flip the spawn. All the enemies are going to spawn behind you and kill you from the back. So that's definitely not worth it. Now, going on to tip number three, this is how you guys need to know this. You need to know how to navigate the map. There's certain ways to navigate and it's not running around like a headless chicken, which a lot of people seem to do within this game. And I mean, I'm happy. Go ahead and do it. I'll get more kills. Sure. But I want to teach you guys how to get more kills yourself and not be the people who actually screw up their KD and stuff like that. So if you know how to navigate the map, you're already one step ahead of your enemies. What you want to do is push these sides. The sides of the map are very important. This way you guys could actually go and there's going to be only enemies in front of you. Rarely there will be enemies behind you. So that's super rare to happen. So the enemies are all going to be in front of you. You're going to be able to knock them out and stuff and there won't be many enemies towards the side as well. A lot of people rush towards the middle and stuff, die, rush towards the middle again and die. So if you're on the side, you'll be killing one or two of them and then just hold up there for a little bit because those guys are probably coming back for you and then kill them again go ahead now if there's lots of enemies in front of you and you know you're not going to win the gunfights because there's like four of them coming your direction pull back to your spawn go back to your spawn area and then go to the other side of the map from there with all the enemies on the other side of the map you could flank them like crazy go back to your spawn go on the other side and then flank around and kill all the enemies from the back now, you guys also have to move slowly and don't rush like crazy. And the reason you have to do that is because when you're sprinting around the map like crazy, it takes so long to go from a from sprinting to ADSing. It takes forever. So make sure you're not doing that too much. Make sure you're running attachments to give you a sprint to fire speed and ADS boost if you are doing that. And the last thing that goes with tip number three, the, the, the navigating the map, is you got to check everywhere man if you think there's an enemy in the corner you check that corner if you think there's an enemy in the window you check that window if you think there's an enemy coming out of a door you check that door make sure you look everywhere peek corners do what you gotta do just literally be alert and look everywhere now another tip i want to give you guys is positioning in gunfights this one is actually super important so there's different ways you can position yourself in call of duty to give you an advantage to win those gunfights so one of them is head glitching and there's a lot of people who complain about that but it doesn't matter if you're getting the kills you're getting the kills ignore people who call you a stupid head glitcher and stuff like that just ignore them you kill them it doesn't matter head glitch like crazy head glitching is when you go behind an object and and then you, you stand behind it so that your body is hidden behind it and only your head pops up then you also want to be able to move around fast this doesn't sound like positioning or anything but when you have attachments that help you move fast while aiming down sights you become a very hard target to hit the enemy's not going to be expecting you to move that fast while shooting him at the same time it's going to put him off his game a little bit and you should be able to knock him out and the last one for the positioning is to hold power points there's a lot of places on certain maps which are great power points a lot of them usually tend to be higher up on the map in elevation i'm talking about so let's say you're on top of a staircase or something and there's a lot of enemies that love to run through there stay in on top of that staircase a little bit kill a bunch of them and then dip get out of there just run away from there after you kill a few you never want to be in the same spot for too long now another tip tip number five here before we get to the last one at number six tip number five is to never seek revenge and i tell you guys this one a lot so let's say somebody kills you he's probably in a power position he's probably head glitching he's he's gonna do it again so if you run back there he's going to get you again make sure not to be the guy who goes for revenge don't go after this guy over and over again hoping that you're gonna kill him because he's probably in a better position than you and mathematically and stuff like that he's going to kill you more often you're gonna be angry you're not gonna be thinking straight and he's just gonna get you over and over again so never seek revenge if someone kills you play it smart flank around kill enemies go all the way around the map and then kill him from the back especially if he's camping there because we don't like campers not on this channel we don't like campers someone and to me honestly a camper is someone who never moves someone who stays in the same spot they die they go back to that spot that is a camper to me now the last tip i want to give you guys and probably the most important one is you got to sacrifice your teammates every so often you got to use your teammates as bait or as a body shield and i don't want to say this because teammates are they're usually helpful but sometimes you get those teammates who are willing to run anywhere and do anything you got those running gunners so you play slow you play smart you think there's an enemy in the room and you think he's in one of the corners but you're not sure right so what do you do wait for a teammate especially if there's one near you to run in that room first once he runs in that room 
he's most likely going to die and then that way you know where the enemy is once your teammate dies you know if the enemy's in the right corner the left corner anything like that you should be able to hear the gunfire and you could even look out for the bullets and stuff like that so then you rush in there while the enemy's probably reloading and you could get a nice easy kill yourself so that is it for the tips guys six tips that not many people share within modern warfare if you guys enjoyed this video let me know by dropping a big fat like on this one and i want to say thank you to everyone who has supported the channel or if you're new here and you will support the channel thank you so much as well even if you're just a viewer who, who comes by every so often you guys are awesome as well love you all i, I seriously dude i can't say enough we're so close to 500 000 subscribers so if you guys could go ahead and drop a sub with those notifications on that would be absolutely amazing if you made it this far into the video comment i made it down in the comments below i want to see who actually makes it past the 10 minute mark and if you do you're honestly amazing and big shout to you big heart big everything all right guys thank you for watching this video my name is nick and i'll catch you in the next one peace